Unopened insulin can be stored in the refrigerator and will expire by the date on the box. Write the date on the bottle on the day you start using it. Open bottles of insulin can be kept at room temperature. Most insulin vials are good for 28 days, but always check with your pharmacist to find out how long your insulin vial is good for. Wash your hands. If the insulin bottle is cloudy, roll the bottle from side to side for one minute. Do not shake the bottle. If your insulin is clear, you do not need to roll the bottle. Remove the plastic cap if you're opening a new bottle of insulin. If the bottle is open, use an alcohol wipe to clean the top of the bottle. Remove the tops from both the top and bottom of the syringe. Do not touch the needle. Pull the plunger on the syringe back to the amount of your insulin dose. Put the syringe straight into the bottle and push the plunger down. Turn the bottle upside down with the syringe still inside while holding the bottle at eye level. Pull back on the plunger to the unit dose that is ordered for you. Do not bend the needle. Make sure the top of the needle is in the insulin. If you see bubbles in the syringe, gently tap the syringe to bring the bubbles to the top. Push the syringe to release the bubbles into the vial of insulin. Pull the plunger back to your dose. Remove the syringe from the vial. Check your dose of insulin in the syringe. Insulin can be injected into the abdomen, a finger's distance away from the belly button, upper outer thighs, hips, upper buttocks, lower back, or the upper outer arms. Always pick a different injection site each time. First, use an alcohol wipe to clean the injection site. Hold the needle with the hand you write with. Pinch about two to three inches of skin. Insert the needle straight into the skin and push the plunger to inject the insulin. Let go of the skin you're pinching and pull out the needle. Drop the syringe into a hard plastic container with a lid or a sharps container. Never recap needles. Use a new syringe every time.